In this video, I'll set up Windows 2000 for the first time in VirtualBox. So, uh, yep, Windows 2000. So, uh, well, let's get started here. So, uh, well, we press next. Type in my name here. And it's okay. And, um, I live in Eastern Time for your information. Okay, that's still. I'm gonna um, pause it for now. Okay, I got the time zone right. So I'll press next. Just wait for a while. And it's installing network components. So I'll pause it for now and I'll not waste your time. Okay, so now it's asking for a work group or do a computer domain. I'm not in a computer domain, so I'll just make up a work group. Um, yeah, that'll be good. So we press next. The reason why it's so slow is because I don't have guest editions installed yet. So this might take time. Okay. So now it's installing components, and I'll um, pause it for now, and I still not waste your time. Okay, so now it's performing final tasks. Oh wow, look how fast it's going in VirtualBox. I might keep VirtualBox though, because look how fast it installs. Oh my, Windows 2000, you are fast. So I'll pause the video and be right back. Still not waste your time. Okay, Windows 2000 is done installing, so let's restart now. Oh, that's an orange, uh, uh, the green color. <laughs> oh, it's not boot from the CD. And we're starting Windows 2000. For the first time in VirtualBox. Look at that. The old classic boot screen. By the way, I like I like this boot screen because it has that starting up loader. Hmm. So I'll be right back once this is started up. Okay, it's all loaded up, and we're gonna see with the Windows 2000 desktop. If it loads. There we go. I don't have any color because I don't have the guest editions installed. So, um, yeah. The color looks very, really weird. So it says Windows is starting up. And we're gonna boot into there. Oh, it looks like it's frozen or something. So I'll be right back while I fix this problem. Wow, that was slow. Okay. So now we press OK. See, look how slow it is on 16 colors. It's not it's not slow when it comes to 32-bit colors. And we're not going to get any sound either. Applying your personal settings all that stuff <sighs> there we go oh we did get sound oh, we did get sound huh, that's nice to know oh the cursor looks a lot weird 
in 16 colors. Come on, I only have like 10 more minutes. There we go. Getting started with Windows 2000. So, in the next video, I'll set up the colors in part 2. So, uh, and install the guest edition. Uh, install the guest edition. So, see you then.